Welcome to part 14. Still doing this all in one night. Well, it's 7 a.m. now. <laughs> Alright, let's get going. Oh, oh wow. A long time ago, monsters would whisper their wishes to the stars in the sky. If you hoped with all your heart, your wish would come true. Now, all we have are these sparkling stones on the ceiling. Wishing room. Aww. Thousands of people wishing together can't be wrong. The king will prove that. <laughs> Washua? Washua. Hmm. Washua. <laughs> If you're watching this, or Joshua, if you're watching this, I <laughs> you know what I'm thinking. Oh my god, you want to try to clean you? It hops around excitedly. Green means clean. Tweet. Whoa. Make a wish. I wish my sister and I will see the real stars one day. Aww. Look through the telescope? Yes. Check wall. My horoscope is the same as last week's. Whoa. What's this? Ancient writing covers the walls. You can just make out the words. The War of Humans and Monsters. Why did the humans attack? Indeed, it seems that they had nothing to fear. Humans are unbelievably strong. You would take the soul of nearly every monster just to equal the power of a single human soul. But humans have one weakness. Ironically, it is the strength of their soul. Its power allows it to persist outside the human body, even after death. A monster defeats a human, they can take its soul. A monster with a human soul, a horrible beast with unfathomable power. It's an illustration of a strange creature. There's something very unsettling about this drawing. I'm gonna see Undyne again, aren't I? Did you see that? Undyne just...
touched me. I'm never washing my face ever again. Man, are you unlucky. If you are standing just a little bit to the left. Yo, don't worry. I'm sure we'll see her again. Oh, that little thing is so cute. This cheese has been here so long, a magical crystal has grown around it. It's stuck to the table. Squeak. Squeak. <laughs> Knowing the mouse might one day extract the cheese from the mystical crystal, it fills you up with determination. Hands. Think about getting into the telescope business. It's normally 500 grams to use this premium telescope. Grams? Bleh, gold. But since I know you, you can use it for free. How's about it? Use the telescope? Yeah. What the? I don't see anything. Huh? You aren't satisfied? Don't worry. I'll give you a full refund. <laughs> What's a star? Can you touch it? Can you eat it? Can you kill it? Are you a star? Well, what's... Oh, oh! I had a feeling that telescope was gonna do that to me. Sans! Passing conversations. So, don't you have any wishes to make? Hmm, just one, but it's kind of stupid. Hello, this is Papyrus. Remember when I asked you about clothes? Well, the friend who wanted to know, her opinion of you is very murdery. Well, worry not, dear human. Papyrus would never betray you. You said you were not wearing a bandana. So, of course, I actually told her you were indeed wearing a bandana. It pained me to tell such a bold-faced lie. But since you aren't wearing a bandana, she surely won't attack you. Now you are safe and sound. Wowee, this is hard. I just want to be everybody's friend. Power to take their souls. This is the power that the humans fear. Fuck. located my store, but there are still no customers. Fortunately, I've thought of a solution. Punch cards! Every time you buy an ice cream, you can take a punch card from the box. If you have three cards, you can trade them for a free ice cream. They're sure to get the customers to come back. Nice cream! It's a frozen treat that warms your heart. Now it's just 25 gold. The secret of that room.
かわいいです Huh, I'm surprised I didn't have to fight him. Oh. Alright, calling it quits for this part. I probably have to fast forward through a lot, but yeah. See you next part.